Mama Squad, and welcome back to our channel. We are officially husband, husband and wife. wife. This is my wife. <laughs> this is my wife, y'all. So I'm only wearing my wedding band. We are obviously in Jamaica. Yes, we are on our honeymoon yes. as we are filming this video. As we're filming this, this is actually our last day yes. on our honeymoon, but we are looking out to the ocean right now. The sunset is about to happen. We're about to eat some dinner, but we're looking at the island of Jamaica and it's freaking gorgeous. We feel like a lot of you guys had a lot of questions and we just wanted to give you guys an updated Q&A and what is going on when it's a YouTube video being posted of our wedding and all so far. Like just so y'all know. Everything. And on top of that, when is a better time to do this other than on our freaking honeymoon? Like, we've been enjoying this trip. I've been enjoying this. How have you been? I've been enjoying My it. My wife. Yeah, I know. You've been enjoying it? I've been enjoying it. Yeah, like I think it's just been like one of the most relaxing trips. We haven't gone out and did anything crazy. All we've been doing is going out for dinners and just enjoying the time together, the time alone on a country that we've never even been out of the US. So yeah. it's just, it's freaking insane. We and love it. we love it so much. I'm uh, sad it's gonna end. I know. We're, we're leaving tomorrow. We're gonna start off the first question strong. When is the YouTube video going to be posted of your wedding? And we're talking about like the main, yeah. the, the main wedding video. So our delivery date is March 15th. Now, it could be sooner. I'm not gonna make any promises, well, but. What day is March 15th? On a Friday, actually. Oh, oh that'll be perfect if it is. How yeah, you know? on a Friday. Oh. So literally like two weeks, or actually probably be less than two weeks by the yeah. time this is posted. I don't even know, because today is the 28th. We don't exactly know when we're gonna be posting this, Yeah. but we're figuring it out as we go. Yeah, so like March 15th, for sure, we're gonna have the video, and we're gonna post it for you guys. We have a, a full-on series. We're gonna do our wedding video, our vows, our first dance, and also exchanging gifts. So that was oh, another, I forgot about that one. Yeah, we have a yeah, bunch we did of huge wedding gifts. We did everything. So we have a bunch of videos coming, but this one is basically like we want to give you a heads up on our schedule. Now we will post the wedding video the day it comes in. Yeah. Whenever it comes in, but we were told by our videographer, like Mariah stated, it's not going to come in until latest the 15th. 15th. Yeah. Hopefully sooner. But we also don't want to rush her because this video is going to be a movie. I honestly wasn't planning to post TikToks as soon as I did, but I got to give you guys a little bit of teasers. I'm gonna obviously wait to post the rest of the TikToks until we get the professional footage back. So we might be a little MIA on TikTok. I'm gonna try to still post like once or twice yeah. a week. I don't wanna go back to normal content until after our wedding. We wanna we wanna like um, space out our wedding content because it, it means so much to us and I know it means so much to y'all. So we want to really ramp up our wedding content once it does become available. Yeah. The thing is, like she said, until March 15th, that's when we might start getting a lot of TikToks yeah. of the wedding stuff, but we're still gonna be posting. It's just gonna be not as maybe frequent or just depending on what we do. We might find videos that we wanna do in the moment, but yeah. yeah, so don't think that we're going MIA. We really are honestly like posting a little less to ramp up and post more than we ever have. Yeah, like I so, feel like we're gonna be posting twice a day. Yeah. So some people wanna know why the date 22324. So the reason we chose that date was we originally wanted 224 2024, but that date was unavailable, so we wanted the 23rd. And we also did it on that date because February is one of the best months in Florida. No rain, it's like always sunshine. Like I feel like it's like one of the best months of yeah. the year. Yeah, so February, the weather, if you don't know in Florida, is is probably the best you will ever get. Yes. We're talking mid 70s and no rain. So on our wedding day, we tweaked about, Mariah was tweaking about like two weeks prior, that's when it started. We didn't like know if it was gonna rain or not cause like, you know, that's of course something scary. Mm -hmm. It was literally the wedding weather gods came down and blessed us with the most perfect day. It, it was. It couldn't it, have been any better. That's what we're gonna get into next. I wanna explain oh, that. Okay, okay. Um, but it was like, one of the other questions was, how were you both feeling during the whole day before and after the wedding? I was very excited. Honestly, the nerves did not hit me until about an hour before I walked down the aisle. That's when the nerves hit me. But the second those doors opened and I saw Bill, I'm not kidding, nerves went away. I just Dude. locked into him, didn't look at anybody in the crowd, nobody, and I just, I felt better. Aww. Like I felt good. And it's crazy, cause like, I'm the same way. I literally did not have any nerves. The night before, nothing. Yeah. Everyone was asking me like, oh, like how are you feeling and all this and that. And I'm like, I honestly feel like this is just another family gathering. It doesn't even feel any nerves, no nothing. It doesn't even feel like my wedding's happening. I know it's like my wedding's happening, it's amazing, but it doesn't nervously feel like that. 
until an hour or two before. Yeah. I was like nervous. My stomach was hurting. I needed to drink water. I was overheating in my suit. Yeah. I literally had to crack open the door in the guy's suite and like have air come because I was so nervous. Oh, so so it literally hit me the last second. But like Mariah said, the moment that it was time for me to walk out and say hi to everyone and stand up on the altar mm -hmm. waiting, that's when the nerves went away. Yeah, that's but... when I was more emotional than anything. Oh, you guys, he cried so hard. The entire I, wedding, I was... I'm not kidding. Stay tuned. He cried. Just stay, stay tuned for the video because I was, I was a little cry ball. ball I, tears. I had to hold it together for him. And I, I got emotional. I, I did. But I didn't cry as much as you did. I'm just uh, emotional. Yeah. Sorry. I love you guys. Yeah, I'm really Because it's been such a long freaking week but i've been emotional wrecked that whole day and i can't wait for y'all to see because you're literally going to see a different side of me it's so. it's the most sweetest moment of my entire life dude we got like this golden hour sun oh yeah glow going away the sun's going down as we're filming this by the so, way so i don't know if you want to answer this bill or how we want to answer this but a lot of people are asking and which we, we can lead into talking about the whole setup and how everything went and all that how much did the wedding cost Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I Let me just say it wasn't numbers. it wasn't cheap. I it was not cheap. Numbers out there. Here's the thing. We've never done a wedding before. We've barely ever been to I think I've been to one wedding since I could remember. I know I went to more as a kid, but like from what I could remember being an adult, one wedding. Given the financial situation that we are in, we are blessed to be able to afford the wedding of our dreams. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like we didn't even go all out compared to some people, compared to the things that they were offering at our wedding. We could have spent way more. I'll tell you, should we tell them the venue? What the venue costs? Yeah. Okay, how about, is it higher or lower than 50,000? It's higher. It's higher than 50,000. Yeah. So, okay. I don't like, we don't like talking money or saying anything like yes. that. We just want to be transparent, honest, because a lot of you guys were asking and I feel like, you know, some people are just genuinely curious because they're planning a wedding or they want to do something. It's expensive. So, given like the, the, the venue that we were at, the floral that we had, the, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, every single Vendor. inch of the place had memorabilia of Mariah and Bill. We had custom signs, we had custom, um, wall art, custom napkins, custom place our, our seating chart was literally like, I it's insane. I don't know. If our seating insane. chart was oh my gosh. huge. Ring for Bill, ring for Mariah. It was, was it was setup. as big as a wall. It was as yeah. big as this wall yeah. was our seating chart. Insane. Because it inter integrated a drink and seating chart and awesome bell thing that people can use. You'll yeah. see it in our video and stuff, but we went over the top, we really we did. did. We had food during cocktail hour. We had a custom saxophone guy that came. We had cotton candy and gelato, and we had amazing cake. And we had and after party food. We had after party, we had yeah. after party, we had after party food. Like, you know, oh my gosh. There were so many little things that went into this wedding. It, it definitely did catch up. We had a DJ. Mm -hmm. there, there's just so many. Oh, there's... we rented tables. We rented chairs. Yeah. We rented the silverware, which was gold, right? Yeah. We picked out every color. Like there's a lot, but let yeah. me let me just say this wedding was the wedding of our dreams. It yeah. went like I don't know what happened behind the scenes. Thankfully, no one told us. But from what we've seen, it was the most stunning thing I've ever seen in my life. If like, you haven't seen the Instagram peak video that we posted. Y'all can see a sneak peek of what the venue and everything looked like together and the We floral. have been posting Instagram photos. Oh so. my gosh. This wedding looks like it was a million dollars. Yeah. It yeah. honestly does. For what we spent, like I am so happy with because it was a lot of money, but like we said, you only get one wedding. Mm -hmm. I honestly feel like with everything and costs of everything going up, our wedding planner said the average wedding these days are like around 40, 50K. Yeah. Ours was more than 50. It, yeah. was, it was way more. Yeah. <laughs> It, it was it, the wedding of our dreams and we yeah. only did it once and honestly when I look back at it we hired the best of the best videographer yeah. photographer. Oh that's another thing. Like we had three videographers and two photographers. That alone was expensive. I also want to mention Because we wanted to invest into our videos and for you, you guys are gonna see the best of the best for video art. This wedding video is I feel like gonna be so different than all the other videos you guys have seen. We actually did a unique twist to ours mm -hmm. and honestly it makes you feel like you're watching a reality TV show. Dude, like no joke. It's like, gonna be crazy. Like we wanted to put money into our video because we want y'all have the same experience as we have. Like we want you guys to watch our video and see like, dang, mm -hmm. 
I feel like I'm there. I feel the emotion. We hired the best of the best for y'all and honestly for ourselves as well because like we're gonna be able to show our kids this and show our grandkids this and yeah. it's just, it's beautiful. So don't want you to think that you have to spend a lot of money to have a wedding these days because you really don't, okay? There's a lot of things that we did differently and, and way more grand than a lot of people typically do. But gosh, it was the wedding of our dreams. It, it was, was a Cinderella story and, and we got married in Which it. is this perfect uh, question. What was the wedding venue? We can finally share it. Oh yeah, the club, the club at, at the, the Strand. Strand. In Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida was the wedding venue. Yeah. It was super dope, super the food, awesome. Yes, the food. Chef's kiss. We had a medley of filet mignon and then um, a cod, cod fish it. filet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so good. And the food yeah. was amazing, it was worth it. Okay, this is a good question. Did everything go as planned or was there anything that went wrong? I feel like, to me, I'm, I'm gonna go into what went wrong. I feel like the stuff that went wrong, honestly, was not that big of a deal So minimal. Me. So minimal, I feel like everything was so perfect and I'm not even trying to be like, not, I don't but know. But we'll tell you, we'll tell you, there's two things right now that I think we could tell you that we know for sure was different than what we planned. So the first thing we when we said, oh, I do, we kissed the bride, whatever. And we are, we are, we're married now yeah. and we're walking back down the aisle the celebrating. Song, the song they used was not right. It was supposed to be electric love, like, um, you're electric love. That one. And I don't remember what they used, they but it was your electric. <laughs> So that was the song that we were supposed to use. They they put a different song. I don't remember the yeah. song because there's just so much going on. But I know it wasn't that song. And then the second thing, which is not the DJ's fault, because I think it's, it's the same name, yeah. but just different. So song. before I get into the first dance, this is where something that else happened. I feel like my dress wasn't bustled right, and I feel like my dress was very hard to like move in. Yeah. It was it was a very big dress. Probably should have practiced bustle. Well I did, I did, uh, but they it, it just, just fell out, right? And it was it was everything was going so quick and this dress had so much freaking maneuvering yeah. it did we didn't have time. So we just bustled it super quick. We nailed our first dance. We did. But there was, there was part one part we missed that we missed a step on. We messed up. Towards the end of the dance. But yeah. everything else we nailed okay. it and then we nailed the finale of the dance. Yeah. But that that was one thing that messed up. Or second thing. My mom and I messed up our dance just but one step as well. Tell. You can't even tell us because we walked through it. You could tell more of ours than anything. Yeah. But apparently our wedding planner has a bunch of stuff behind the scenes that was last minute mess ups, um, stuff going wrong that they had to figure out last minute. And we're going to hear all that once we get back home. Which I'm glad I didn't know anything about it. Because Which I'm you know scared. What? I am scared because like I, I'm, I'm intrigued what happened. Yeah. Usually they won't tell the bride and groom because they don't want to stress us on the day of, which I'm glad that they didn't. Mm -hmm. But I'm, 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 like, what, what could have gone wrong? Like, I'm so I don't know, everything curious was so to know. Perfect. But everything else, like, did, nothing went wrong. It was like the perfect wedding. I missed the wedding so much, but I would never want to do it over again because I would not want to change a thing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would change about your wedding? Would you change anything? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a thing. I honestly think the whole day was amazing. It was. This is actually a good question I want to ask you because I feel what? like I never really got to hear the answer on this. What were your thoughts when you saw Mariah for the first time in her dress? Like, what was your reaction? So, like, the anticipation that, first of all, you're beautiful. First of all, I was, like, yeah. in shock. I was in awe. I'm like, that girl, that's Mariah. I literally turned to Jordan, I think, and I was like, it's just so funny. Like, that's Mariah in the dress right there. Like, it's just so weird thinking, like, that's, that's my little Mariah walking down the stairs. I just thought you were beautiful. It was so much anticipation. I'm like, I can finally see the dress and look at it without having to, like, hide. And it was just so weird and like, Did I was just so was happy. I love the dress. I love the dress. You look beautiful in the dress. Honestly, the dress was just amazing. Mm -hmm. And I loved how big and poofy it was. Like there was nothing that I would change about that. The dress and was freaking stunning. Yeah, I just thought you were just like beautiful. Oh. You just looked amazing. You did. <laughs> really... You looked so cute. You wore an all white tux. Oh my. It was like a little off white. But... Oh my God, it was Dude, so good. I nice. would so recommend good. that tux to anyone. He oh my gosh. So Oh, and I get to keep it forever. It was not a rental because they don't rent tuxes so like that at all. So I had to customize it and everything. Ooh, and the vest. Don't you like that I had the vest for after party? Yeah. Because I took my, my jacket yeah. off. Which also, all you guys were asking, I know I said a lot that I wasn't going to change on my wedding dress. You did. That dress was so heavy. I was constantly stepping on it. And I was like, you know what? I want to be able to enjoy my wedding. I want to just like, I got all my pictures in. You would have to I sit down. And like, you, I feel yeah. like you would have been up and dancing. No, I decided to change, which I'm really glad that you I You changed did. during the reception, right? No. At the end of the reception? I, like, 
way at, like before the after party. Like right before. Yeah, yeah, and I'm really glad that I did because it was just, it was a lot. The mm -hmm. dress was heavy, it was big. And I tried to be able to have a good time and like, you know, party. It was I sick. also didn't want to ruin my it dress. Like, I, I feel like I had my dress on for most of the time yeah. that I really wanted it to be on. And the dress already had like that thing, the yeah. piece of metal fell out. So you, you didn't want to wear that big baggy thing the whole time you're trying yeah, to dance. Yeah, no. Get down. Yeah. And also we want to know, did y'all write y'all's own vows? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. I actually, I wrote my vows. And I finished my vows. Two nights before, right? No, oh, I wrote them two nights before. I finished it a night before. And then our wedding planner never even read it until the morning of. Mine, I had it done for like She had it done like weeks, two weeks before, yeah. Yeah, because I know for me, I can't be in the spot like that. Like, I need time to but think. But my, your vows were amazing. Oh, I and also, my oh, that vows, was another thing I did that that messed up. Um, I lost my place when I was oh, reading we in reading, the beginning. Yeah, and you're like, oh wait, sorry. And you like restarted. And I couldn't remember what I said last. And yeah. I'm like, frick. But it's cute. It's me. It, it literally that is me. And that's Russia. literally Mariah reading. Yeah. So like it, it, it meant a lot. No, it does. It's special because it's yeah. me. Like it symbolizes me. And my vows like turned out amazing, better than I thought when I was writing them. I knew they were gonna be good, but like they turned out really good. So yeah. I'm, I'm happy. Last question: How does it feel to be husband and wife? Ooh, that's a good one. It that's is, a great one. I told Bill the second we said I do, I was like, I feel closer to you. Like I feel this love that I never. Not that I didn't feel this before, but I. Just feel this love I never felt before and I think it's because the title husband and wife like we're in our lives like we're, we're in this together you do know? you still feel like that yeah do I don't, I don't even remember saying I do what I remember the moment but it was such a blur because I just remember like you putting the ring on yeah I do yeah then and then we put the rings on because I squeezed it I was right yeah, I was yeah. waiting and I squeezed it yeah and then for me it feels amazing it feels so weird because like you say husband. right before I turned this camera on today I texted our butler for the bungalow that we're at and I said like oh for my wife and that was the first time I ever said my, my wife, wife to yeah. somebody else I call you my wife for the past like five days four days so crazy. but I've never said it to somebody else, else so I was yeah. like oh shoot this is my wife like that's legit like yeah. that's what people are gonna think when they say like oh your wife your wife so it feels so weird, so different, but I love it so much and I wouldn't change it for the world. Honestly, Mariah, you, you felt like my wife for the past yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Like, it felt like we were husband and wife, and now the fact like that we tied the knot and like we actually are married legally now, yeah. it's like, that's how it is. But you guys, I feel like I wanted to explain more, but I don't want to give a lot of away either. There's so much coming. So, so many So stay things. tuned. Mark in your calendar, March 15th. 15th. That is when I'm praying that is when we can post a video. It might or be the sooner. day after or sooner. Or sooner. But just get ready. That's when all the content is about to go down. Regardless, see it all. we need every one of y'all to turn on all your post notifications for our channel yep. and turn on your notifications for YouTube so you get notified when we do post to your phone and y'all can be one of the first people to comment, like, and watch our wedding video. Ooh. It's coming up in two weeks, but prior to that, we're gonna have so much stuff and content coming. It's gonna be more once all the videos come out, yeah. but we're still gonna be posting a lot. We've been posting on TikTok, posting on snapchat of all behind the scenes of our days and stuff so make sure all around keeping up with all of our social medias like we appreciate all of y'all's patience and um love throughout this process yes. like we literally are married yeah it's crazy. We, we've been watching love is blind we're watching people get married and like it's sad because it's like oh we did that a week ago yeah and oh we just saw someone get married the other day here oh yeah and it was actually sad because i'm like oh, i miss, I miss that. that right yeah. don't you yeah but i i can't wait to look back at everything Wait, one more thing, I want to say one more thing before. Isn't it weird that a year ago, in like one month from this moment, we were sitting on a bed making a video called We're Engaged. Stop. In Hawaii. Yeah. And now we're in Jamaica making the same video, but we're married. Yeah. And we didn't even know we were going to be in Jamaica. That's oh, crazy. I love that. Well, thank y'all so much for watching this video. This is gonna be one of the last times we film in Jamaica. I'm sad that we're leaving on honeymoon tomorrow, but we are starting our lives as husband and wife, and we get to look forward to all these videos to come. Yes. And our property that we're building. Oh yeah. We have no, so, much, we have going so on. much going on. But we love you guys so much, and we will see you in, in the, the next, next video. video. But until then, peace. peace. Love, love you guys. guys.